How's it going guys? Kels Prime here and after the not so impressive story trailer that was released yesterday which honestly I did make a video for but felt so conflicted I never released it, today at 5pm UK time the embargo lifted and the first trailer was released. This time featuring the Dark Zones. Yes you heard that right, Dark Zones. There are three in total. Before we get started, beta dates. More specifically, the Division 2's private beta will run from Thursday, February 7th to Monday, February 11th in Europe. And given that the game launches just over a month later, this is presumably a beta in the newfangled sense of the word. It's essentially server testing the code while at the same time hiding it behind a paywall. Ugh. On to the Dark Zones. I won't be going into any story here as I believe that it's best experience yourself, however there are plenty of sources and the trailer I'll play after this in full will give you some idea of what you're expecting. Unlike the original game, here in Division 2 the Dark Zone is split into 3 Dark Zones and each play differently based on the actual Dark Zone you visit. Dark Zone East, the largest of all 3 Dark Zones, players will utilise long sightlines in overgrown governmental parks. Dark Zone South, the smallest of the Dark Zones, emphasis is placed on close quarters combat. Sightlines are easily broken with large interiors and choke points. And finally, Dark Zone West, split into two parts by a large canal. Georgetown is characterised by medium range engagements and features European style architecture. So with three different Dark Zones, you'll need three different builds to utilise each Dark Zone's way of playing. With that said, along with this, there are some changes to the system. Instead of 24 players, each Dark Zone now has 12 players, which may seem small, but they have also reduced the size of the Dark Zone by a third. Low to mid-range gear will now be collected straight to the inventory with only the best gear requiring extraction. Another brilliant idea, so for those just wanting to experience the area, if you are extracting, all 8 others will know you're extracting something good. Great grief mechanic if you ask me. They learned nothing. Well, that's not true. They did add turrets to the entrance gates of the Dark Zone to prevent people camping the doors and killing players before they even load in. So they did learn something at least. You can now also steal loot from the rope instead of cutting it, so yeah, gonna be fun. Did I say they learned something? Secondly, all three Dark Zones are normalised. To your level, gear, and finally, world tier if appropriate. So gone is the builds actually making a difference now, kind of. It's pretty much like Last Stand, one would assume. Additionally, there are now three levels of going rogue. You have rogue, which requires non-lethal agent activity, which I assume is a grenade that doesn't kill them, or a shot that doesn't kill them. You have disavowed rogue, which is violent agent activity, basically killing the enemy, killing another player. And finally, manhunt status, which is the highest priority. This is basically when you go full manhunt, as you would do in Division 1. Now, remember I said kind of? Well, there is a final aspect to the Dark Zone. This is called the Occupied Dark Zone. No rules, no rogue status, no normalization. It's a no holds barred zone where you pit your builds against other players for a gung ho mano a mano. You'll get very little notification in terms of statuses or anything with people going rogue. You can't trust anyone, even your teammates, because friendly fire is active. So, with that said, good luck and get ready to troll. I mean it's an interesting take on the Dark Zone and how it will play out sadly I'm not sure, no invite for the awesome me but hey, maybe one day. We also have actual PvP in Domination where you go 4v4 to dominate a zone, typical stuff which sounds fun actually, I like these sorts of PvP, and skirmish which is pretty much the same skirmish you have in Division 1. All in all it's shaping up to be pretty awesome, at least from this trailer. I'm kind of happy I didn't release the video from yesterday because if I did this would have been a complete U-turn. So it's a good thing I held back on that because that was pretty dark. Let me know what you all think in the comment section below. My first real Division 2 video. If you enjoy it, though I am not invited to the gameplay testing, if you like this video, then let me know. I'll continue making more in the same vein. If you'd like to help me get to these conventions and actually get hands on for you lot, all you have to do is hit that thumbs up button, click on that red box, and as the numbers go up, so will the chances of me getting invited. Thanks for watching everyone, and until next time, Remain legend. Welcome to the Division 2 Agent Briefing, Dark Zones and Conflict. Seven months after the virus outbreak, Washington DC is on the brink of collapse, threatening the fate of the entire country. You, agents of the division, are the last line of defense. 
launch, the Division II will offer a realistic and immersive experience, including an accessible range of online multiplayer activities across three new Dark Zones and Conflict, our organized PvP modes. After attempts to eradicate the virus failed, quarantined areas quickly formed and an insufficiently tested chemical was deployed, DC-62. The results were devastating. DC-62 proved to be just as lethal and left a path of desolation across concentrated areas of the city. Dark Zone, the division's intense mix of PvP and PvE is returning. The Dark Zone is a unique environment filled with rewards, where anything can happen and no one can be trusted. Agents will now be able to access three different Dark Zones, each with its own distinct environment, landmarks, and challenges, and with up to 12 players sharing the same zone. The three different Dark Zones host a wide variety of environments and gameplay, providing players with a renewed experience and different challenges every time they play. The walled-off Dark Zones have remained untouched by scavengers, leaving these areas filled with high-level equipment. But some of these items are toxic and will need to be extracted before they can be used. Agents can obtain equipment by clearing landmarks, taking down enemy factions, or securing supply drops, but also by embracing new ways to play as they turn against other agents. This is classified as going rogue. Rogue agents can now lockpick supply crates, steal other agents' contaminated gear before extraction, and hack SHD terminals to obtain valuable resources. But some still prefer a more radical approach, at the risk of becoming a target of their own. There are now three different rogue statuses that present players with a variety of ways to combat other agents in the Dark Zones, whenever they choose. Dark Zones are an experience where players need to balance risk with reward. They are normalized environments where all players have the chance to succeed. Automated turrets guard the entry points and protect newcomers from predatory rogue agents and enemies. This gives players the freedom to engage in their very own playstyle without being overpowered by veteran agents. While Dark Zones remain an accessible challenge, Occupied Dark Zones, our most brutal version of the Dark Zone, will also be available at launch. With no rules to keep anyone safe and higher rewards, this will be a true contest for survival of the fittest. Conflict, our organized PvP experience for the Division 2, will also be available at launch. Conflict modes pitch a team of four SHD agents against a team of four rogue agents across domination and skirmish game modes in three new maps located outside of the main story. These modes feature their own progression system, granting rewards that players can bring back in the main open world of the Division 2. In domination, teams battle for control of three capture zones. Stay in the zone with your team or perform special actions to keep scoring and deny the zone to the opposing team, using your skills and agent toolbox wisely. In Skirmish, each team aims at reducing the opposing team reinforcement to zero. This mode supports intense and highly tactical engagements where communication is the key to victory when aiming for the top of the leaderboard. The Division 2's Conflict and Dark Zones experience will continue to evolve as part of our commitment to post-launch, and players can look forward to new areas and new modes in the coming months. You will decide how you will want to achieve your mission, as a team or standing alone. Agents, welcome to the Division 2.